Hello everybody, it is Saturday morning and uh, I've just been called out to a property in the La Mercy area uh, Tonga Beach sort of area um, as People have reported a very large snake in the garage um, Over the phone they described it as 3 meters long and really thick and black um, I've now arrived here and the 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 gardener that actually saw the snake they opened this garage door here, opened up the snake was apparently sitting up here somewhere i don't know whether it was on the springs or on this metal here but um he describes it as a snake that's a little bit thicker than the host pipe here which is not very thick and about a meter long yeah about a meter long just over a meter but the snake then slithered across here and went up into this hole in the roof. Um, problem now is there's no trap doors to get into the ceiling. So, what are we going to do from here? I have no idea. Shall keep you guys posted. We might have to make a hole. I don't know. Okay, so apparently there is another room that's attached to this garage that has got a trap door going up into the shared ceiling space so they're busy taking me there now and get into that ceiling and hopefully find the snake right so up the ladder we go to the trap door Let's hope the snake is not sitting on the trapdoor. Okay, might help to take that. Snake, where are you? Just put this down for a sec. Don't see anything in here for now yet. You can see that the plastic is damaged here in the roof, so it could actually disappear in there, you know, go in between the plastic and the tiles. And then you're not going to find the damn thing unless you blim and take off the top, take off the Take all the roof tiles off the roof. Just trying to find this hole that he would have come through. Um. Uh. Aha, I've spotted the snake. Okay, I found him. He's in the back corner here. Looks like a what are they? What are you? Big brown house snake or where does that go? I don't know where this hole goes. Okay guys, so entered the roof, had a look around. 
eventually spotted the snake sitting in the corner here. Um, but it went into where am I pointing? It went into that little hole there. I don't know where that leads to. I think it might lead out to the overhang of the roof. And of course in this situation the overhang is not open. It's been closed off. It's been boarded up to stop birds and bats and lizards and all those sort of things getting up into the ceiling. So um, I really don't know where, how we're going to get to the snake. <clears throat> um, didn't seem like from there that he went up between the plastic and the tiles I don't think so um, but that is a possibility I guess but I would think that it went through to the overhang of the roof oh, gosh okay let me exit here and see what else we can do from the outside right so uh, i've come onto the roof thinking that i could access that ceiling gap um that i can't get to in the ceiling i can access it from the top here just by shifting a few tiles out the way then i can see down into this this little overhang of the ceiling that's been blocked off underneath here from the outside but now these roof tiles which are normally super super easy to move and shift back and then remove um, have been painted at some stage and now that paint is holding these tiles like glue I cannot budge these tiles um, so uh, it's getting more and more difficult as we go might have to access it from underneath and break into the into the ceiling where the overhang is and try and get it from there i don't know let's go see what we can do there okay so this is what we're gonna do here um so the snake from inside the ceiling it would have come into this what's been blocked off here so somewhere in this space but you can obviously travel all the way through or you can go back into the ceiling so he came through at about this point here so what I'm going to do is make a hole a little bit this side where I can just get my head and my torch and shine down there and see if I can spot it and uh, from there we'll decide what the next move is if the snake moves and goes back into the ceiling then I'm going to run around with the ladder and go back up into the ceiling yeah let's see what we can do Oh, 
this opening here so we can we can see if he's going this side. Can you maybe watch? Can you maybe watch here to see if he's coming across? Uh, I think you must stand this side. <laughs> Damn dust. So I see if the snake is perhaps visible through here somewhere. Okay guys, so I think with bashing the holes open in that side I've probably chased the snake back into the ceiling space which will actually make things a lot easier for me So I'm going to go back up here very quietly and uh, yeah, have a look around the ceiling and hopefully the snake is just sitting quietly somewhere in here Right, let's go check it out. I have not yet established what the snake is. I was looking at it from a distance. I really couldn't make out whether it was a big brown house snake or a spitting cobra. Really not sure. So just have to be careful with my eyes in case it was a spitting cobra oh my goodness okay let me just have a quick look around see if he's not oh there goes a rat that's the reason the snake is in the roof in the first place um, There is nothing worse than snakes in ceilings. There really is nothing worse. It's hot, it is dusty, and it's tricky, very tricky. There's the snake of, again. Oh my goodness. Okay, at least it's back there. I'm not going to shine the torch on it because I'm just going to scare it. 
got it back pretty much in the same spot where it was just now. Oh gosh, what are you? It's a big olive snake by the looks of it. Yeah, it's an olive snake. Alright, God, all I need now is for the ceiling board to break. There we go. Yo, haven't caught one of you for a long time. Let's put the phone down for a second, guys. I can have two hands here. Yeah, there we go. An olive snake. It used to be called an olive house snake. It's reclassified. It is now just called an olive snake. Oh my gosh, it's hot in this roof. <clears throat> um, these guys are very powerful constrictors, but they are totally harmless. And they are very reluctant to bite. I mean, you can see he's very feisty. He's scared. Doesn't know what my intentions are with him. Or her. It's probably a her. Um, so yeah, it's scared. It just wants to get away from me. But they just don't bite. Um, generally. Anyway, I'll let you guys have a proper look now. Let me switch off here and exit this hot, uncomfortable roof. And I'll chat to you guys outside. So here's the snake guys. I don't know if you can see the proper colour here yeah, in this light. This is why it's called an olive snake. Come on. I'm trying to work with one hand here is very difficult. These guys are actually very friendly, very shy, very placid snakes. They just don't bite. And uh, yeah, they're completely harmless, very powerful constrictors as I said. They eat rats mainly, but they do also feed on other snakes. And they would probably be a little bit opportunistic and maybe eat bats up in the ceiling, maybe eat birds. But totally harmless snake. Awesome animal.